In this video, we're comparing SEMrush versus similar web, two powerful tools that help you track competitors, analyze websites, and improve your marketing. We're going to look at what each tool does, who they're best for, and how they stack up in areas like SEO, content, traffic analysis, and pricing. And by the way, if you don't have a SEMrush account just yet, you can get an extended 14-day free trial if you use my link down in the description of this video. Now, before we get started, a quick note, some links in the description are affiliate links, which means I may earn a small commission if you make a purchase through them at no extra cost to you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And now let's jump right in. What do these tools actually do? All right, let's break this down. When people talk about tools to analyze competitors or track online performance, two names usually come up, SEMrush and SimilarWeb. Now, SEMrush is often seen as that SEO tool. And yeah, it did start out focused on search engine optimization, but that was just the beginning. Over the years, it's grown into a full digital marketing suite. We're talking SEO, PPC, content, social media, and yeah, even market intelligence. So it's really more of an all-in-one platform now. SimilarWeb, on the other hand, is usually thought as the go-to for market intelligence. It's built its brand around that, digging into website traffic, user behavior, industry trends, all that good stuff. So it's known for that angle. Here's the thing though, SEMrush now covers a lot of the same ground when it comes to competitive insights. But because similar webs started there, people still default to thinking it's the stronger option in that space. And honestly, that's more about perception than reality. So if you're looking for a tool that gives you deep market insights, plus everything else you need to grow your online presence, SEMrush is probably going to give you more bang for your buck. Which one is easier to use? Both platforms are pretty simple to navigate once you get the hang of them. SEMrush has a clean layout. You can find most tools with just a few clicks. The dashboard is straightforward and the learning curve isn't too steep, especially if you're used to any kind of SEO or marketing software before. SimilarWeb also has a good interface but the features are spread out into more menus and subcategories. That means it sometimes takes longer to find the data you're looking for. Overall, I'd say that both are user-friendly, but SEMrush is a little more streamlined and makes it a bit easier to move quickly between tools and reports. How do they stack up for keyword research? Keyword research is a crucial part of digital marketing, especially if you're creating content or running SEO campaigns. SEMrush excels in this area with one of the largest keyword databases in the world, over 26 billion keywords. You can get valuable insights into how difficult it is to rank for a keyword, its search volume, and the search intent, whether the user is looking to buy, learn, or compare. SEMrush also provides tools that group keywords into topics, suggest long tail keywords, and recommend related terms to help you rank higher. Similar web, while offering data on 5 billion keywords provide similar features, including search intent analysis. However, its keyword research tools are more focused on showing which keywords are driving traffic to your competitors. While it can generate keyword ideas, there's less context and fewer options for filtering or grouping to actually build a strategy around that data. So if keyword research is a major part of your strategy, SEMrush offers more depth and tools to help you refine and optimize your approach. What about SEO and technical performance? Both SEMrush and SimilarWeb offer SEO audit tools, but they're not created equal. SEMrush gives you a full SEO toolkit and delivers a top tier site audit experience. You can run deep site audits to catch issues like broken links, slow loading pages, or missing meta tags. It even tells you how to fix them step by step. There's also an on-page SEO checker that reviews your content, and suggests ways to improve keyword usage, readability, and overall ranking potential. SimilarWeb does have an SEO audit feature. It's built for scale, fast crawls, high-level metrics, and benchmarking for large websites. You can check indexability, rankability, UX, and even create scheduled audits and action plans. But in terms of depth, well, it falls a little short. It's more about reporting trends in diagnosing specific issues on your site. And users agree. According to G2, SEMrush scores a 9.2 for SEO auditing, while SimilarWeb sits at 7.9. Similar 
SEMrush users often mention how it helps them spot and fix SEO issues before they become a problem. Meanwhile, reviews for similar web note that while it's fast and scalable, the audits aren't as in depth. One user even said, technical audit does not go that deep as other tools. So while both tools offer SEO audits, SEMrush gives you more detailed analysis and actionable insights, making it a stronger choice if you're serious about optimizing your site performance. How do they handle competitor and traffic analysis? This is an area where both tools deliver strong insights, just in slightly different ways. Now, this is where SimilarWeb really does its thing. SimilarWeb is known for its competitor intelligence. You can see total visits, audience interests, referring sites, and traffic channels across both desktop and mobile users. It also includes tools to analyze affiliate campaigns and benchmark performance across industries. If you're in e-commerce, their shopper intelligence feature is especially handy for digging into marketplace behavior and buyer journeys. SEMrush though, it's no slouch here. SEMrush goes head to head on most of these features. With the dot trends add-on, SEMrush lets you break down competitors' traffic sources, analyze audience behavior using the Market Explorer audience report, and uncover referring sites and outbound traffic through the traffic journey report. It's packed with sharp, actionable insights like where your competitor's audience comes from, what sites they visit next, and where your brand stands in the landscape. SEMrush also gives you a detailed traffic channel breakdown with the organic and paid social separated, available both for desktop and mobile traffic. So if your primary focus is e-commerce specific research, Similar's web shopper intelligence might give you the edge. But for broader marketing analysis, plus integrated SEO content and advertising tools, SEMrush offers more all-in-one flexibility. What about content and writing tools? This is another area where SEMrush pulls ahead. SEMrush is built for content creators. If you create blog posts, landing pages, or any kind of written content, SEMrush has tools that make the process easier. You can generate topic ideas, build outlines, and even write inside their SEO writing assistance, which gives you real-time feedback on readability, tone, and keyword use. They also offer AI tools that help with rewriting and structuring contents. SimilarWeb doesn't really offer content tools. It can help you find trending topics or keywords by industry, but it doesn't guide you through the content creation process. So if you write content regularly, SEMrush is the better fit. Do they help with paid advertising? Both tools offer advertising research, but they serve different purposes. SimilarWeb lets you see what kind of paid traffic your competitors are getting. You can check which keywords they're bidding on, what landing page they're using, and how much traffic comes from ads. It's good for seeing what's working in your industry. Great for research. Now, SEMrush takes it further. You can use their advertising toolkit to research ads, improve your own campaigns, and even run advertising reports for Google or Amazon. You get more control and more features if you're actually managing paid campaigns. So if you're actually running ad campaigns and not just observing, SEMrush gives you more actionable tools. How much do they cost? All right, let's talk pricing. SEMrush's basic plan starts at $139.95 per month. That gives you access to most of the key features, SEO tools, keyword research, site audits, content tools, and some competitor tracking. If you want more advanced features or higher limits, you can upgrade to their guru or business plans or consider specific add-ons according to your goals. Similar web's pricing starts at $199 per month for the starter plan. But here's the thing. Many of the features we've talked about, like geo-filtering or historical data, are locked behind enterprise plans, which cost a lot more. Also, SEMrush offers a seven-day free trial and occasional longer trial offers. And if you use my link down in the description of this video, you can get an extended 14-day free trial. So overall, SEMrush gives you more bang for your buck on the entry-level plans. What about customer support? Both platforms have support teams that are easy to reach. SEMrush gives you access to live chat and email, which is helpful if something goes wrong. They also have tons of tutorials and guides and have onboarding and ongoing support for customers. 
they're usually pretty quick to respond to. SimilarWeb also has live chat and email support. If you're on a custom plan, you'll get a dedicated account manager, which is great for large teams or enterprise. In my experience, SEMrush tends to be a little more accessible and responsive for day-to-day -day users, but both are solid. So, which one should you choose? If you're focused on SEO, content creation, or digital marketing in general, SEMrush is the better all-in-one solution. It gives you tools to actually take action, from keyword research and site optimization to content writing and ad campaigns. Now, if you're at a large company and your main goal is market research or high-level competitive intel, SimilarWeb might be worth it, if you've got the budget. Both tools are strong, but for most marketers, freelancers, and small to mid-sized businesses, SEMrush delivers more features, more flexibility, and way more value. All right, that's a wrap on the SEMrush versus SimilarWeb breakdown. If you want an extended 14-day free trial, make sure to use my link in the description of this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.